Welcome to 25 Days of Dax Fridays Edition 3. This is day 4. Let's get started. Okay, for day 4, we need to find the top 3 categories that have the highest revenue contribution. If you're not sure about what revenue contribution is, you can actually use the glossary. So, if you go to other, revenue product revenue contribution is how much revenue a product stands for. So, we need to calculate the revenue contribution first. Let's go to product ID, product name, and then we need to have revenue. We don't have anything here that calculates revenue yet. So let's create a new measure. And this is going to be, I'm gonna copy it and explain it. So we have the sum X of order details, and then we have unit price times the discount um, times quantity. Okay, so this is going to give us the revenue depending on the photo that we apply, obviously different revenues, but if we put it in here, it will be the revenue per product. You can see there. Right, so now that we have the total sales, we're probably going to need this elsewhere. We're going to create a new measure that is going to calculate the revenue contribution. So revenue contribution is going to be divide, and then we're going to have the total sales after the discount, and then we want to have the total sales after the discount where it's not sliced by product. So we're going to do calculate total for all products. So we don't want the product rows to filter our table. And then we're going to put it in here, revenue contribution, and we're going to do it in percentage. And then here we have the three products, 11, 6, 5. Now, how do we do this in one go? So we go to the DAX query editor, evaluate, and then we're going to summarize. It's going to be the category tables because we want to have the top three categories. And then category ID, category name. Again, the category name is unique, but it's a good practice to just have it in your brain. And then here we are going to have the revenue contribution, which is going to be divide the total. We did a measure, but if we are not going to reuse it elsewhere, we can recreate it here, calculate total. Otherwise you can just put revenue contribution and then you're good to go, right? All products run and now we could sort by but we are not going to do that because we know that we have it correctly in a second so new measure d4 paste everything and now we're going to tab these we're going to do top n and we were asked top three this time top three categories so categories on revenue contribution descending and then we're going to concatenate the results. We know that there are going to be more than one concatenate, comma, the table that we already have it, the expression is going to be the product, no, the category name, category name. We're going to concatenate it with a comma space. And then because this is a top X, according to the rules, I need to revenue sort it descending by revenue contribution. Okay, D4. And we get beverage, their products and confections. Okay, so I'll see you again on day five.